Hey, let's check out Timeless Seasons. Hey y'all, so this is a beautiful enchanted forest themed sim. This space I feel like is very good for couples as well as singles, but it definitely in my opinion is geared more towards couples, which is okay as well. So throughout this land, they do have little nooks and crannies like this that are definitely giving enchanted vibes, which I always enjoy enchanted. So I just want to do a quick little outfit check while we're in here. I want to apologize for my voice in advance. I am pushing through a cold courtesy of my son. So we will continue to push through, but I do apologize for the nasalness um, of this video. There might be a couple videos. Well, I definitely know there will be a couple videos that are going to be nasally as well because I will be recording them while I am getting better. So we got a little hot toddy going on because we're doing this in real life as well as second life. So, you know, we're going to make it do what it do. So let's look around. So this will be another, as I see it, an SL video. So, of course, my cursor will be making um, a little debut every now and again. When I came here last, I don't remember them having these um, teleport stones, but I'm very glad that they do. We'll definitely be popping around using these just to make sure that I'm keeping track of time so that the video doesn't run um, too long. Because y'all guys, y'all know how I get when I get to exploring. So, let's go to our first location. We're going to visit the lake. So this is the beautiful lake that they have. I have definitely found that this sim has so many activities for you to engage in, either by yourself or with someone. You're definitely not going to be bored here. Throughout this sim, they have little teleporters that look like this, very enchanted. When you walk through them, they do take you to different spaces. I know for a fact that this one takes you back to the beginning, so we're not going to use it. So they do have a super cute cafe that you can come and grab some things from. Um, most of the things in that cell are free. Um, so you can always just like click on them and get you something. My story things, I don't know if that's always free. I, I'm not a My Story participant, so I'm not very sure how that HUD system actually works. This is super cute. So I found that even though this land has a mostly forest theme, you will find along your path there will be some enchanted aspects that definitely let you know that they're going to mix some enchanted um, things in here as well. So they also make this sim where you can bring kids along and things like that. It's a moderate sim, so the kitties um, should be able to come here and enjoy themselves as well. I will say, however, they have a house that's up here. And when I was here um, looking around to make sure that this was some place that I wanted to show you guys, this house right here baby they were getting it in i'm talking about getting it in i didn't realize that they were getting it in until i almost walked in the house and i was like "Ooh, okay i wanted to click on a bed because the animations were so nice but i digress so definitely check little spaces like houses and things like that if you're going to bring your kids to the sim to kind of just make sure that they're clear of um any adult activities because although this is a moderate sim they do have adult items so let's sit and see well this is cute so they have like little things like this we'll go ahead and get rid of this tea so this is a cute little beach towel and of course it has different animations me taking a tea off kind of did something to me it's okay so I love that they do have a lot of sitting areas and it doesn't make you feel like you have to be here with someone but it does definitely let you know that if you wanted to be here with someone you could oh I have one of these um theirs is bigger I'm like did they make it larger with mine you can sit on it can I sit on this and then it lets you like build a sand cat oh no okay you definitely can't sit on it why does it have like a clicker thing then let me see is it oh no wait a minute why are they getting information why 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 are they giving me beyonce dancer vibes right now why are they in formate what is happening why are they dancing i'm still not impressed see and see i'm i'm a click on it type of girl 
sometimes it'll do well sometimes not so much that really kind of made my skin crawl so i do not appreciate that but am i going to stop clicking on things absolutely not so the vibe of the decorations here definitely give me like hippie vibes or earthy vibes rather and i do like that i like that they do have secluded spaces for you to enjoy um if you want to be an introvert in second life much like myself as well as if you want to be an extrovert in sl they definitely make sure that there are spaces for both there was so much wildlife here as i was um visiting and just adventuring and exploring around I really do like that cute little picture opportunities and things like that that boat is really cute lots of cute little poses so we have some deer and this little is it a beaver yeah it's a little beaver minding his business so i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna take note from the beaver and mind my business and keep on walking around okay you just popped up so they have cute little picnic areas that are definitely picturesque because of the beautiful, beautiful background. So if you just want to have a little bit of a different experience, they do offer horses that you can ride um, instead of just walking around. It kind of just gives you a different perspective and a different experience um, while you're on this land. So we'll go ahead and try out a horse. hop on I'm um, saying now they also have bicycles if you wanted to ride a bike around you can do that as well so go down this path just a little bit the thing that I love is that the horse does not go fast of course but the path is overlooking the entire sim is it gonna let me see it while I'm on this horse yes it's overlooking this entire sim and I just thought that that was so pretty and so nice very very calming so if you walk around this sim, you'll see that they have lots of little dipped off spaces for you to explore, either by yourself or with somebody else if you just want to come here and just chill, just to listen to the sounds. I love, love, love the sounds that are in Second Life. The nature sounds are just so beautiful and always very much so spot on. So they have like this cute little area that definitely has a cute little earthy vibe to it. That you could come and sit either by yourself or with friends. They definitely have enough space for um, you if you want to bring your friends or have like a little group role play or something like that. There's a cave around here. Is this the cave? Every, like every time I've tried to find this cave, it's been very difficult. That's why I'm very glad they did the teleport system. So let's look at the cave. Oh my, okay. Gonna let things red a little bit. That's super pretty. Ever since I went into that first space, this little fairy seems to be following me around. I'm not mad at it, but just taking an observation. Just making an observation. So again, this is a very nice enchanted space. I do like that for the most part they have a forest theme, and but you can tell that it does have an enchanted aspect to it. But it's not they didn't overdo it. Oh, they have a little sword. Can I take it? Oh, okay. Ah, just for me. I love it. I love how they have these little jewels like sticking out the wall. It's like, so this is like a hidden treasure type space. And I love that. What's this? Ooh, super pretty. I love this. Listen to those sounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, get into it. It's the second life for me. So these little, okay, this is a little pillow. So I think you could, I don't know, you should be able to sit here. Okay. What's the fun? Cat, doggy, what's the activities? We'll do drink. So let's look and see. This is a really cute space. If you want to, again, take pictures or if you just want to chill out and just have a little cool time, this is a cute little space. Come here and listen to the sounds and just enjoy yourself. Just another reminder that, of course, in Second Life, most things are animated. So a lot of times you can click on this, another little cushion. You can click on them or you can just um, sit on them and they will give you animation options. Very easy to follow as well. 
so what's in here? Another gate. Let's see. I'm kind of lost right now. Okay, is this like a sleeping beast? Around a bunch of gold. Go figure. Let's see. I love little touches like this. It just, I don't know. It does something for me. A little creepy goblin man, I guess. I'm not sure exactly. Okay. And then we have made it back to our entry point. So we're going to get out of here because that little thing, that little beast kind of creeps me out. So where else are we going to go now? Where are we going to go? So although there are many enchanted things here... They definitely made a space for the romance, which I really did appreciate. I love looking at things that are very romantic here and also things that you can just indulge in in yourself that also are it's very pretty for pictures and things like that. So they have this beautiful piano under the gazebo. So if you want to play some music for your boo or if you just want to come and practice a little bit, you can do that here. And then right after the realism comes the world the enchanted i forgot what these are called the half man half horse um but we got that going on so the era of this um sam is definitely um dated with but i like it i do like it they it has like a dated slash modern feel to it somehow and i definitely appreciate that can i go in this house I don't know. Let's look and see what's through here. I am definitely not a stand in one space type of girl in Second Life. If I can click on it, I'm going to click on it. If it looks like I can go into it, I'm going to go into it. However, if I go into a space and I get a message letting me know that I'm not supposed to be in that space, I always promptly turn around. So we have a old fashioned stove that I know this bread is delicious nice nice got the little grains down there can i go up these stairs let's see what's upstairs if i can go up these stairs okay in a little bedroom just with the bed this is another little portal um i feel like now would be a good time to try to go into a portal and just kind of see where this takes us oh wow is this a circus this is a full-fledged circus okay not the lion and the seal. Oh no. It's, it's given. I don't know. I, I would think a lion would tear a seal up, but you know, I don't know. So cute. Then over here, they always oh, a full fledged amusement park. I definitely was not expecting this because the land um, does not have this type of feel to it. It's, you know, another thing that I love in Second Life is that sometimes they'll surprise you with little treats like this where they have spaces that you didn't necessarily, you wasn't, ex you weren't expecting them to have and it doesn't necessarily have to go with the, um, per se, the theme of the Sam, Ooh, my apologies, it doesn't have to go with the theme of the Sam, but it's just a nice pleasant surprise. So this definitely does not go with the theme of the Sam, but Who's to say it doesn't, you know, but it's just one of those things where it's like, it's all foresty and things like that. So I wasn't expecting this, but this is definitely a pleasant surprise. Those ducks look terrifying. Why are the teeth? It's the teeth for me. Okay. So I don't think I'm going to get on any of these rides, but these are very um, typical amusement park circusy rides. But they have lots of rides. This would be a good place for you to take the kitties. So if you do decide, um, or if you're in Second Life, you do decide that you want to bring your kids here, you definitely can. And I think they will really enjoy this amusement park space. Okay, they have nice futuristic, this looks like it's in the sky. They have nice futuristic little rides and things like that. It's super pretty, very colorful. I love it, love it. I'm not going to spend too much time here because, again, I'm trying to stay on task. Because I don't want a 30-minute video. I want something short and sweet. Unless you guys want the longer videos, you got to let me know in the comments. Because if you want longer, longer you shall receive. All right? So let's see now where we're going to go. 
So when you first come to this land, you'll be greeted by this beautiful lodge. I definitely did take a look at this lodge um, when I first came here because I always look at the lands before I actually bring them to you guys just to make sure that they are worthy for you guys to even see. I'm going to say that the decorations here were a bit lackluster. The most decorated space was the lobby or is the lobby. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. This space does have three floors. However, we're not going to look at all three floors because they are pretty much one and the same. What I will say is, oh, let me get around this door. Doors sometimes are an issue. They have a super cute cat here. This is the kitty cat sleeping when I first came here the cat was meowing I was like oh look at this cutie baby it's not resin all the way yet oh oh right when I turned away it the color came in I'm in um black dragon so sometimes the textures take a little bit more time to pop in this is a cute little cat, cute little kitten, all right now. So here they have like lots of different spaces for you to just like hang out and chill. I do not believe that this place offers actual lodging where you could like rent a room. Um, I didn't see that. I could be wrong, but from my explorations on this land, I did not see that. This is a very pretty intimate space where they just have tables for two and things like that where you could come and either again chill with yourself or chill with a friend or a little you know your companion they also have some little games in here so i guess it's like a little gaming room slash romantic date night i don't know there's another little teleporter right there again those teleporters are located um in different parts of the land so you'll just have to find them and then explore them if you choose so this is the first floor and the rooms are very you know plain jane i'm used to more decorations but you know hey everybody's doing different things and the land itself is decorated um very highly especially the caves and things like that this is another room that is decorated the same and then on the third floor it's literally just one big open space with just like that kind of bed and that kind of couch so we're not going to spend um anytime looking at that because we've already seen it twice in two rooms so all in all i really did enjoy exploring this land this land is beautiful and perfect for singles as well as couples um, or even if you want to have a family out in or just hang out with a group of friends you'll definitely find many many things for you to do either alone or with your friends so if you guys like this video make sure that you like comment and subscribe and as always i'll see you guys next time